uh, we, we believe it would help, uh, but uh, again, the largest position is that uh, place for trading place for renewables is not the market. It's the feed-in tariff mechanism. So uh, it's better to uh, engage in a, uh, appropriate uh, support mechanisms and uh, secure their risks for the first 10 years. Uh, that, that would be a, uh, how can I say, an optimum approach for renewables. I think um, we, we, we have to, to look to the various stages of evolution of markets. I mean, um, I, I think you can have aging instruments, uh, derivatives, and so on, when you have a market. Um, the problem in Turkey, you don't have yet a real market. I mean, the distribution of electricity is still in the hand of the public sectors. A very large part of the production is still in the hand of the public sectors. So the first stage is really to do those privatization, and um, which have been now quite a long term, long time overdue. So that that would be really the first first stage. And hopefully this year we should see some some of those uh, privatization taking place. Um, I guess the second thing is. Um, I mean, if, if really you want to develop production in renewable energy, I, I think initially the, the structure needs to be simple. Um, I mean, if you are looking more toward large volume of financing and, uh, and, and those volume of financing will be available. I mean, uh, our institutions, CBRD, IFC, I mean, we are all, um, we all have as a first priority to, to finance renewable energy. So, so th there is no issue on my mind that there is liquidity. But what we need is really to have simple structure to be able to give us comfort about the, the market risk. And I guess really the simple simple structure is really the feeding tariff. I mean, as you say, I mean, when you look to the, in, in, within the European Union, all the countries which has been successful to implement large-scale project in renewable energy are those who have the strong commitment in terms of feeding tariff. And then, over time, maybe you can move to other type of structures. But let's not um, miss the first stage which is the development of a private sector, both on the generation side and distribution side, and two, simple structure to mitigate the, the market risk uh, in terms of revenues. Well, maybe one of the things that's, uh, as far as forwards and futures are concerned, so energy trading, electricity trading has started to happen in Turkey, but I think if we just, uh, we have a little bit of time because we're still the energy generation, the capacity is owned by the government and then on the distribution side, the privatization has not been completed. So we are, you know, just we, the, the market is mature before we're able to talk about future and forward and, uh, and that kind of revenue stream giving comfort to the banks, I don't see it happening in the, in the near future. And also one of the things that I would like to mention here is that uh, on the wind side, we have seen it happen, especially in the tenders for license applications. A lot of companies bid for that license and then uh, they ended up getting it for their royalty fee. So we expect that the same thing might happen on the solar side. So the, uh, how the tenders will finalize, will be finalized, and the royalty fees, which will be uh, offered by the bidders, are also very, very important in the bankability of these projects. So the higher the royalty fee, of course, it's making it a little bit more difficult for this type of projects um, to be financed for a simple reason, because the bank is requiring a higher equity, and the investor's uh, goal, is ultimate goal, is always to inject less equity. So there are so many factors uh, I think we should, uh, we should think and discuss before we are able to start features and forwards and that kind of uh, hedging mechanisms in the Turkish renewable energy sector. <laughs>